After what happened, we're leaving the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Goodbye, Baran, we are going out of here. Now we're going to the most secret places in the USSR, to the rebirth island where prohibitical biological weapons were developed and tested. Experiments were carried out on monkeys, horses, or maybe even on humans. In addition to terrible laboratories, there is an abandoned war city on the island in which one and a half thousand people lived under the code name Arask Salem. In 1992, they were all evacuated and the beer bombs were burned in the burial ground. Only one such bomb based on anthrax spores could kill three million people. Not so long ago, there was an ecological disaster, and in 2005, the Aral Sea almost completely dried up. We want to drive an old Soviet car along the bottom of the former sea to this island and get into the terrible biological laboratory. We drove into the city of Tegam, this is some kind of Kazakh city, and here on the road there is a real trash. There are very undisciplined drivers here, almost every car creates a kind of accident situations for others. Alex, the traffic is really terrible. Now we need to stay at a hotel, rest and eat. This needs to be done carefully because local people can do whatever they want. For example, pick up the cameras. Why are they so wild? If you want to see something in the Aral Sea, then it's closer from here. I mean, from this guest house. From there, if you go, it will be 180 kilometers. So this is the guest house. All five beds are in the same room. You've got so much space here. Look how cool the walls are. And the Kazakh style. Wow, check out the ceiling. So how much money do we owe you? Five dollars. Per person? Yes. Okay, great. If you want tea, you can make it here. We want to go to the abandoned city to explore it. Well, everything is guarded there. It's guarded there? Yeah. Is there a waterway to Uzbekistan? Yes, yes. Do patrols go there? Yes, they do, but if you really want to go there, you can, just you need to be careful. We read on the internet that you can just get there by taxi. It's illegal probably, right? Well, the house seems to be fine. And the owner is good too. Yeah, he's good. But he said that there you can find a guide. We're in the local market now. Take a look. It's cool, isn't it? You see, there are so many different kind of buns they are selling here. Excuse me, how much they are for? 30 cents. Okay, and the buns? These are 32 and these are 45. Okay, thanks. So they're around 20 rubles. Look, what a cool old motorcycle. Hello. What's up? Well, we want to buy some socks. Aksha? In what Aksha? Money. Two dollars for all this? Yes. The market is so... Unusual? Yeah, some kind of exotic. Look, I don't know what is written here, but it is some kind of canteen. Hello, can we have a meal here? Sure, what do you want? Breakfast maybe? Have you got bread? Yes. Wow, it looks so delicious. Very tasty. The after the baconer will eat normally. How much did the food cost? It cost 1,800 tenji. It needs to be divided by 15 to convert to krivna or by 5 to convert to rubles. Guys, you won't believe, but we met one of our subscribers here. He watches us. Brother, what's your name? Bigzat. Bigzat. Greetings from Kazakhstan to everyone who's watching this.
We're washing the throttle valve. It's very dirty, most likely because of this our car was driving badly. I hope we can do it. Everything will be fine. Look what's going on. Some guy is on a donkey cart. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's on donkey cart. Look, he's whipping it. Hey, man. Hello. Wow, your transport is so cool. <laughs> is it a one donkey power? <laughs> Look at this! It's closed there. We can't go there? You see the barrier? Did he let us go? Yeah, is that on a red light? Yeah, we're going on the red light, can you imagine? There is a train, but it's far away. There's a train, guys. Only in Kazakhstan it's possible. Come on, you will pass. Now just straight on. How do you like it? Better than India? I saw a man riding a donkey for the first time. This is some kind of savagery. Hello, guys, how are you? All good. Can we go to Errol from here? Aral? Yes. You mean Aral Sea? Yes. It's a bit far away from here. How much? It's around 50 kilometers. Well, it's not that far. Is everything all right with him? Yeah, he's okay. Does he always lie there? <laughs> he's resting there. Okay, got it. We repaired our car a little, refueled it completely and decided to independently go to the Robert Island along the bottom of the dried up sea. Well, what's this? This is a Muslim cemetery. Look, people are just standing by the road and selling something. Ask what they're selling. Hello? Hello. We drove and saw you here, you're like in ninja costumes. Don't film it. Why? Guys, shall we buy some camel milk? Yeah. How much does it cost? Two and a half dollars. Why can't we film it? Are you selling illegally? Yeah. So the police can come and arrest you? Yeah, it's illegal. I get it. Then be careful. Here is your money and I take the milk. We're just tourists checking out the places. Don't worry, we're not the police. Okay. Guys, this is a camel milk. I don't know how they got it. The smell is good. The smell is pretty similar to goat milk. So maybe it's goat milk. It's really tasty. Amazing. Tom, I'm not trying it. It's really tasty. Try it. I'm not kidding. This is delicious. Just close your nose and drink it. <laughs> Look at the camels who arrived in Aralsk. Check out the route here. We reached the shore of the Aral Sea and then along on a difficult journey along the bottom of the dried up sea awaits us. Well, it should be better further. Fine. Is the ground solid? I don't know. I understand that here is no water here for a long time. This is a landscape, almost like the moon. So let's stop and come out, huh? Is it fine here? In my opinion, it's perfect compared to how we drove to Baconur. This is pretty good. Well, looking at the place, it can be seen that there was once water here. There may be some kind of underground pit. Don't know, we're going to 170 kilometers like that. We're going as if in on ice. The ground is falling through. Really? Let's go out and see. What is if it's falling through badly? Damn! That's it. Switch on the reax hole. You go ahead and turn around. Wait a minute. Forward then in a circle. Damn. How to get out of here now? Try Revis. 
stop. Gently accelerate it. Your rear axle didn't turn on. It's not working. Come on. One, two, three. Wait. Why is it not working? The rear axle is not working. One wheel is only spinning. Turn on the diff lock again. Turn on the lowered one and turn. I think we need to dig a little with a shovel. Try to drive ahead. The more we stand here, the deeper it falls through. Damn, look at this. Come on, take a shovel. Why isn't the rear axle working? Why the bottom one isn't turned on? Where are the locks? Imagine if we would have gone further and got stuck like that. <laughs> Need someone in front to go and check. Let's try this way. What? Is it chalk or salt? No, it's not salt. What is it, guys? Write in the comments. It's something strange. It looks like this. It's like in winter. Come on, come on. It's moving. Push it. Keep trying. Keep accelerating. We can do it. Oh. This is freaking hell, guys. We're a real stock. Need to dig a little more. It's really bad. There is very sticky mud underneath. What is it? It's slit. Really a smelly stuff. Yes, there are also some she cells here. Let's call another car for help. And Tom thinks that the car will be completely sucked into the ground. That's why such a panic situation rose. We're almost there. No, wait, wait. Stop. Now the axles will be on the ground and then it can be pulled out. That's it, guys. We need to call for help. We won't get the car out by ourselves. Why did we come here? Wow, the axles have already reached the ground. Shit. The car will be buried here. I'm calling the MOS. Call anywhere. Call in 112. You see, it's already touching the ground. I had a gut feeling that we shouldn't go there. I told you. Oh, need help to call it out. Where are we? Near the destroyed house number 5 in Aralsk. Aralsk 5. I didn't get it. Zaton. Backwater. Aralsk 5, you know? Uh, City of Aralsk? I don't understand you at all. Damn. What are you doing there? We got stuck. We just wanted to ride over the dried lake. Tell him the nearest street. Wait, wait. Amiridin. Uh, you listen it. Amiridin Alenovo. Amiridin Alenovo. We don't have such an address. Aral C. To the right of the lake, back water. What do you say? We'll figure out something now. Do you want to dig a road? Yes, we'll dig out the car a little, put stones so that the clutch is on, and the car will be pulled out. The main thing is for the car to move. I can send you the geolocation. Let me show you the location on the map. And don't just call the police, nobody can understand where we are. Now we'll do everything ourselves. So much for the lake backwater. We were told that they would contact us, we would give them the coordinates and the police would come to rescue us. Will the police come to rescue? Okay, so I'm sending you the location from this number. Fine? Guys, we saw another vehicle. Hello? Can you help us? Our car is stuck. Help us, please. 
Anton, we asked the guy to help. He said he'll call someone and they will pull our car out. But he asked for money. How much? Twelve dollars. I said that we had little money, so we can give seven dollars. He agreed and then said he would help us for free, as we had little money. What happened here? Just wanted to go for a ride on the lake. Now we realize that it was a stupid idea. Look how it's stuck there. The Americans knew that the big chemical weapon are being made somewhere. In 89 or 90, our spy was caught and he revealed where the biochemical weapons were getting made. The Americans were shocked. They say they, they had been looking for so long, but here it is. In Aralsk? Yes, in Aralsk. Yeah, guys, we are out of luck. We got stuck here. We had to go there, you see? Yeah. See how it goes? Look, look! Wow! So that's how we should drive? Yes, look, it doesn't fall through. This is crazy. Is this some kind of tactic? I don't know what kind of tactic it is. Stop, stop! Move from there! No, what are you doing? Are you a fool? The car is moving on speed. Guys, see how he makes the road on purpose. Stop! I must say I've never seen a better driver in my life. What did you want to do? I wanted to hook on that car. Did you see how he drove? Yeah, he is amazing. See what else it does. Look, look. Now we definitely need a car wash. Stinks? Yeah, it stinks too much. Is it show off or is it some special technique? He deliberately makes such a road so that we can leave or else he can get stuck here too like us. Why is he doing this? So that we could drive out. Do you understand their language? He says something, do you hear? Yes. Everything turns out to be more serious than we thought. Why doesn't our car drive unlike theirs? Is the diff lock are not working? I don't know, but he says the situation is serious. Who's your driver? Well, on asphalt, yes. Turn on the diff locks as it should. Probably Anton doesn't know how to turn on the transfer key, that's why we got stuck. If he immediately drives out, it will be funny. There's a break, shall I remove it? Damn. I don't understand why it can't. Why did we come here? Look, he will turn on the transfer case. These are the hidden features of this vehicle. Didn't you know where was a special wall here? There should be a hidden switch. Look. No, it doesn't spin. What can you do? That's why we're stuck. Oh, there you go. Have you seen the front wheel spinning? In the comments, the owners of such cars will roast us. They will say that we are marons. <laughs> the transfer key is already on there, Anton. Just turn on the back one? Yes, only lightly, not abruptly. Now it will be the coolest thing. Two cars will now be covered in mud. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. It turned off. What, you haven't had time to press the gas pedal yet? Yes, I wasn't ready. You should signal first. Hope nothing got damaged there. But damn, look how much dirt. Wow. You need to quietly pull it, but he's pressing the gas pedal rapidly and his cable is not very strong, so it towed off. This cable can withstand the load. It's strange, of course, why does he gas so abruptly? 
Yeah, in this way the vehicle can get divided into two parts. It's only here in Kazakhstan this can happen. <laughs> hey, what happened? Why are you bleeding? It's bleeding, huh? I looked back, pressed the gas pedal and hit my face to the door. Damn, Anton, this is insane. Are you think, please? This video has everything. If you still don't hit the thumbs up, then I'll be really offended. We suffer so much here. It seems to me that he made such a role that we won't leave from here at all. Wait, it's too early. Come on. Holy shit. His talk too. I said it before. Yeah. All their force in vain. Don't know what to do now. <laughs> Anton, things are bad. They got stuck too. We'll all we'll be here together now. The third car is already on its way. Bloody hell. Why it's so difficult? I don't know what to do. Anton, we have an idea. What? To leave it here and... Come on, man, how can we leave it here? This is really pissing me off now. It will be like here, like a monument. Everyone will come and take pictures with it. It will be disassembled for spare parts. Why the hell did we come here? Why did we need this sea at all?